Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a quick little video about my new uh, Bestem 2012 T-Box or it's actually the Bestem T-Box 2012 model um, I'm going to give some pros and cons You can see the color matches my bike pretty well It's a little bit darker than my bike but overall it's pretty nice Um it took about 20 minutes to install. Uh, that's only because I had to take off some screws and take off the CC bar and put it all back together. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so, the box itself, some pros, the box itself was under 100 bucks. It was about $91 or so with tax and everything. With Amazon Prime, the shipping was free. It took uh, about two and a half days to get here. I ordered it last Saturday and got it yesterday evening, <coughs> early evening. Excuse me, I got something in my throat. Uh, other pros, it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't flex very much. It's a very good, sturdy, um, rather thick ABS plastic. Uh, pros, the color matches fairly well. I was quite surprised how well it matches. Um, it was easy to install, universal plates. It has a universal plate underneath along with those brackets very easy to install it's got this nice little rubber lip that protects my luggage rack along with some rubber nubs under here for vibration absorption the rack itself is removable and while it's locked it'll stay locked to the bike and then you can unlock it and take it off if you want to for my purposes I'm just gonna leave it on the bike pretty much full time um, I was using an old cloth uh, bag on my rack which served this purpose well but it didn't lock so that was a problem to me I wanted something that was secure when I went grocery shopping or whenever my wife and I went out hiking and we took the bike and left it down at the bottom of the hill I think it's a 36 or 38 liter box uh, it'll hold one full-size helmet and one half helmet um, snugly but it will hold it or to hold a full-size extra-large helmet plus some extra gear. Um, other pros, it's got LED lighting, brake lights. I've yet to uh, hook it up. I'll do that sometime later this week or this weekend. Um, it's good size, good price, pretty sturdy, pretty thick. It replaces the sissy bar. Uh, it comes with a brake light and wiring, and the price was right. Uh, some cons. I would say this pad here is a bit stiff. It's a bit hard. Uh, it's not nearly as comfortable as the sissy bar pad that we had. Um, one of the other big cons that I had myself personally is that this lock is very stiff and kind of troublesome when you first get it. And it's plastic. Now, I don't know why, but I was suspecting, I was expecting something uh, metal. You see, I imagine if somebody really truly wanted to get in there, they could with a little bit of force or a heavy screwdriver or something. But for the average honest thief, I'd say it, uh, it'll it do its job plenty fine. Oh, other pro, it's waterproof. It's got a very nice about a one inch lip that'll keep water out that sits over this edge. Uh, you can't submerge it in the water, but for rainwater and splashes and whatnot, it'll be just fine. Um, one of the other cons I had, besides the flimsy lock and the hard back pad here, right here I noticed when I initially opened it up, you see this, this red tape in here, it's like mylar. It's kind of loose, kind of thin, it's not attached. And I'm betting over time this is going to crack or come free or tear somehow, but I'll worry about that down the road. Overall. For a, a sturdy, lockable, removable box under 100 bucks that I, it only took a few days to get, it only took 20 minutes to install, I'm very pleased. I'm very happy. My wife likes it. It's got good size. It's much bigger than the bag I was using. Here's my bag I was using. Um, for now, what I'm going to do is use this bag as a day bag. Put my lunch and gear in there. When I get to work, I'll pull it out put my helmet and stuff in there and lock it up and be done with it. Um, so that's nice. 
One of the other cons, I suppose, is these uh, lid holders, these little, I don't know what you call them, but these appear to be some type of monofilament. I thought they were metal in the pictures that I saw online, but they look like some kind of plastic monofilament. If they're monofilament, they should be pretty sturdy, pretty, pretty strong. I'm just worried that over time in the desert heat of Phoenix, they're going to dry out, crack, and break. So over, uh, I don't know, either soon or maybe when they do break, I'm going to put some thin wire on there and strengthen them up. Also, these little uh, pins down here, they're rather weak, kind of, they're not loose, but they're just kind of weak and they look like they'll probably break off sometime soon. So I'll strengthen those up too somehow. Maybe I'll just put some small bolts or eye bolts or something in here. JB weld them in so they're nice and secure and use uh, metal wire. Um, but it does come with two of them, so it holds the lid up nice. But other than that, uh, there you go. Yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, hard bag for under a hundred bucks.